into the hub and in this video we'll be talking about tea tree oil and using it to treat a yeast infection. Tea tree oil is an effective treatment for candida problems. However, because tea tree oil can cause skin irritation pretty easily, it's generally recommended as a last resort for severe candida problems. The renowned medicinal herb expert Dr. James Duke in his book The Green Pharmacy also says you should use tea tree oil only as a last resort due to its potential to cause such skin irritation. But you can use it in relatively low concentrations and it should do a good job of clearing up your candida difficulties. When you're using tea tree oil, the main thing you want to do is dilute it. And it would be wise to put it in a substance that also fights candida. Such substances include coconut oil, or honey. Either of these have been proven to stop candida and make great items for diluting tea tree oil in. You don't need too much tea tree oil. Research indicates that about 2% concentration of tea tree oil should be sufficient to stop almost all species of candida very easily. To treat a vaginal yeast infection, think about soaking honey or coconut oil with the tea tree oil in a tampon and inserting that in the vagina and letting it sit overnight. So let's take a look at some of the research proving tea tree oil is a really great yeast infection treatment. A 2004 study published in the Journal of Antimicrobial Chemotherapy found that a 0.4% concentration of tea tree oil greatly reduced the growth of candida yeast. The specific species used in the study was candida albicans. The study also suggested that the various chemical components of tea tree oil have differing ways of acting on candida. Consequently, there may be a healing synergy between these chemicals in tea tree oil, and that may be a reason why it's such a great and powerful yeast infection treatment. Another reason why you should consider using tea tree oil is because it fights candida germ tubes. Now, candida Many of the species are dimorphic. That means they exist as two different states. One state is a single-celled yeast, known as a blastochondia, and some species, like Candida glabrata, exist only as that single-celled yeast. Other species, like Candida albicans, forms germ tubes, which makes it more virulent and allows it to attach better to your body and drill holes into your mucous membranes or anywhere it's colonizing. A 2000 study published in Medical Mycology found that just a quarter percent of tea tree oil would successfully eliminate all germ tube growth of candida. Therefore, you're able to use just a tiny bit in say apple cider vinegar and use it as a douche to keep germ tube growth in check. A comprehensive review of a lot of the scientific literature regarding tea tree oil's effects on candida was published in 2006 in the journal Clinical Microbiology Reviews. The paper cited several studies showing the effects tea tree oil had on multiple different species of candida. Research indicated that for all the various species of candida used in studies, the researchers found that about 2% concentration of tea tree oil would successfully kill every kind of candida that it came in contact with. So it's a good rule of thumb that whatever type of treatment you are thinking of adding tea tree oil to, all you'll need is about a 2% concentration of tea tree oil to totally kill the yeast. And one thing to be aware of when using tea tree oil it is highly toxic if ingested, so whatever you do, don't drink tea tree oil in an attempt to relieve uh, intestinal candida. It can be very dangerous, very bad idea. So in conclusion, tea tree oil does make a very powerful remedy for yeast infections, and you can start using it. Just make sure you don't go above about a 2 or 5% concentration and uh, you should see some relief from your candida problems. For more information about tea tree oil and using it for candida, you can check out the link below to Candida Hub. There's a few articles about this subject and various 
research that this video used is also shown on those pages. So if you have some time, check it out. And you can also learn about a 12 hour cure for yeast infection that's all natural and will totally eliminate your yeast infection in just 12 hours. So if you have some time, consider checking it out. Hey, thanks so much for watching. See ya.